In this tutorial, we are going to work on adding bullet holes and stickers to our game using the decal render feature in Unity. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. First of all, the decal render feature is part of the scriptable render pipeline. I believe that this is specifically for the universal render pipeline, but there is something similar in the high definition render pipeline. So make sure that your project is using the scriptable render pipeline and not the default one. Here I am in the project. This is the FPS micro game Unity template. First of all, we need to enable our decal render feature in the forward render. Usually you should find it in the settings on rendering folder or you can type rendering and you should find it. There should be the forward render. And this is the universal render data asset. And at the bottom of it, you should find the add render feature. And we are going to click this button and here we are going to find a decal. So we need to select it and it will be added to our render. Great. So now we can create our decal and in the hierarchy we are going to select the plus icon and we are going to find the rendering and here we are going to find URP decal projector. This will be created and now if we take a look at uh, our scene view uh, we are going to find out that there it is somewhere in our scene. I'm going to put it uh, up and I'm going to move it basically to my room. Okay and here it is and if you have your gizmos enabled you will see this a white cube. If I move it onto my wall or any object in my game, we're going to see this white square. And if you select it in the inspector, you'll see that it has a transform and the URP decal projector with some parameters that we are going to tweak. Currently it is showing a white square, so we need to have a bullet hole texture. You can download one from the opengameart.org, the link will be in the description. I have imported it into Unity as a sprite because I will use it for the UI element. Now to use it, we need to create a new material. So in the projects tab, we are going to right click, create, we are going to find the material and we are going to create a new material. Now we need to change the shader that this material is using. So in the inspector, while the material is selected, we are going to select the shader and we are going to find shader graphs and here we are going to find a decal and this is our shader that we are going to use. If you want to learn more about Unity shaders, check out the Unity Shader Bible by Jet Ellie. Now, to assign our texture, we need to assign it to our base map. So I'll drag my bullet hole texture, select my new material and drag it to my base uh, map. And now we can assign this to our decal projector. So let's select this in the hierarchy and we are going to take a look at the inspector, which contains the material reference. We need to assign here our new material. So let me drag it from my projects tab. And now in the scene view, something has changed, but it certainly does not look like our bullet hole texture. Now, this is because if you take a look at this uh, decal projectile, you will find out that it shows a white arrow beside the transform arrow. So let me select maybe the hand and we can see this white arrow. This needs to be pointing at the face on which we want to paint our decal. So if I move it and place it on the floor, we're going to see our hole. If we move it on the wall, we need to rotate it. So we need to go to the transform component and let's reset the X rotation to be zero. And we are going to, I think we need to rotate it by 90 degrees on Y. And now the white arrow is pointing at the wall. This means that we can see the correct texture showing up on our wall. Now this is a pretty big bullet hole. So let's select our decal projector again. And to tweak the size of it, we can modify the width and height in the inspector in the decal projector. So let's set the width to be 0.1 and the height to be 0.1. And now if we deselect our decal projector, uh, we are going to see that this bullet hole is much smaller and it seems to be uh, of a correct size. So we have our decal projector set with the material. So let's select it and let's drag it, uh, the decal projector as a prefab in our project tab. If you are enjoying this tutorial so far, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel. It would help me a lot. Thank you. Now to spawn this bullet hole when we are shooting, I have created this decal painter script. Here it is. 
So we are going to have a private decal texture data array decal data, which will be a serialized field. This is a custom class that is serializable so that I can assign different textures to our decals to create stickers and bullet holes and whatever I basically want because I can modify the sprite and its size. So next we are going to have, of course, the projectile prefab reference. So private game object decal projector prefab. And I'm going to also have a private int selected decal index. So this will be the index of the decal texture data array that is currently selected. The first one will be the bullet hole. Next, I'm going to have a private image decal image. This is from the Unity Engine.UI uh, library. I'm going to basically modify the decal image to show you which decal is currently selected. And we are going to have an array of materials called decal materials, which will be very important to fix one issue that we have with decals. I'm going to explain it in a bit. First of all, I'm going to have in the start method the assignment of the decal materials to the new array of materials with the length of the decal data. Next, I'm going to set the selected decal index to zero, and I'm going to look for each image in my scene, and I'm going to find one with the tag decal. This is unimportant for this tutorial. So I'm going to assign to the decal image UI sprite our decal data selected index dot sprite to show it in the UI. And next important method is the update method. In the update method, I'm going to get the input the get key down key code Q. When I'm pressing the Q button, I'm going to increment the selected decal index to swap the decal from my uh, for my sticker, for example. And I'm going to check if it is greater than the decal data dot length. I'm going to reset it back to zero and I'm going to modify the UI sprite with the new decal sprite. Now, the important method is this paint decal, uh, which takes in the point the normal both vector three and the collider. This is because FPS micro game has its own code for shooting, but basically what you could do is you could raycast uh, using this raycast hit if physics.raycast transform dot position camera transform forward out hit to get this hit because you can get from the raycast hit object the hit dot normal and uh, the hit dot point so the position where you should create the decal and when you have those parameters you can simply generate a new game object decal instantiating the decal projector prefab uh, passing the point uh, where we have hit the wall and the quaternion dot identity Next, we need to access the decal projector, decal get component decal projector. And now there is this tricky bit of creating the materials for our decals. So the problem with decals or the decal projector is that if we have three different decal instances and we try to swap the material of one decal, I have the sticker one, which is this character. I'm going to select one of those decal projectors. I'm going to select the material, which should be its own instance. And I'm going to assign the sticker one. We are going to see that all the decal projectors materials have been affected. So they share a material. That is why we need to create a new material for each new decal sprite. So that's exactly what my code does. So we are going to check if decal materials, so our array of materials on this index, selected decal index has a value of null. We are going to instantiate a new material with the properties of the projector, so the decal projector dot material, so our original material that we have created a while ago. Now, when we have this new material, we can modify this material, so the projector dot material, we can assign it to our material from our array, so our new material, and then we can use set texture with this string valued base map, and we can select the decal data selected decal index sprite texture. That's how we can assign the new texture to our material uh, to the decal projector. And we can set the projectile dot size. So with height and length to this decal data selected decal index dot size. So from the size from our decal texture data, because for our bullets, we want to have the smaller decal for our stickers. We may want to have a bigger size. And now the most important part here is this uh, decal dot transform forward equals minus normal. So as I have already mentioned, those decals, when we take a look at its gizmos, have a white arrow, and the white arrow is going in the same direction as the forward direction of this transform. So if we set this uh, forward direction, so this blue axis to be minus normal of this surface, 
So if the normal of the surface will go to the opposite direction of this uh, white arrow, we are going to set the forward direction to be minus the normal of the surface. So we are going to ensure that the white arrow is pointing at the object where we want to place our decal. So this should fix this issue where we have seen only the uh, lines rather than the uh, decal image itself. And basically this is it for our script. We have our de decal texture data and that's it. So again, if you want to have this in your shooting mechanic, you would have to raycast and get the hit normal and hit point and place the decal and the hit point and set this forward direction to be hit dot normal and negate this vector. Now in the inspector, my decal painter look like this. I have the transform and the decal painter. The decal data contains three elements. I have the bullet hole, so my bullet hole texture sticker one. So this is this one and sticker two, which is the UNT logo. And I can input the size of it. Next, I have the decal projector prefab. So I need to drag our decal projector that we have created. Selected decal index is just for us to see which index is selected. And the decal image will be assigned automatically by the script. It will grab this image now I have another bullet painter functionality script which assigns the functionality of my paint decal method from the decal painter to the projectile inside this uh, project since it is using in the uh, assets we can find the FPS prefabs and the projectiles and the projectile blaster has its own script projectile standard. I have exposed an only hit event which passes all three arguments, the position, the normal and the collider and sends it to our decal painter. You will be able to download the full project from my Patreon. The link will be in the description. Before we test our project, we need to select our decal projector and we are going to set the pivot point to be Z uh, equals zero. And we are going to ensure that in the decal painter, we have the Z value. So this will be the projection depth to be uh, 0 0.1. So we do not see the decal on the other side of the wall. Now, if we press play, we should be able to leave a trail of bullet holes when we are shooting our gun. If I press Q, I will swap my uh, decal to be one of the stickers. And if we place it in the corner, if we set the depth co correctly, we are only going to see part of the decal appearing. If we had this set to be one, there will be uh, lines because the normal value, or so the uh, white arrow is set to be the normal, the negative normal of this wall. So on this wall, it would uh, look like uh, lines and not like the image. And we can select the other sticker and we can place it as well. Okay, so this is it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next tutorial.